Hello, my name is Bruno Lacerda and today I will be talking about our work on probabilistic planning with formal guarantees for mobile service robots. This is a journal track paper which has been published in the International Journal of Robotics Research in 2019. This work was developed as part of an European project named STRANDS. This project tackled long-term autonomy of mobile robots in everyday environments. Our goal was then to develop an efficient and flexible planning approach that is able to tackle the inherent uncertainty of human-populated environments. Here we see a depiction of a typical planning problem for a mobile service robot. The robot has several tasks to be executed at different locations, for example performing a 3D camera sweep in order to build a spatial temporal model of the world, or searching for mugs in order to clear them and move them to the kitchen. In order to tackle this problem, we start by discretizing the environment into a topological map, where nodes represent relevant locations in the environment and edges represent navigation actions between those nodes. These actions can be off the shelf, such as the ROS move based navigation, or they can be specialized actions, such as going through a door or docking to a charging station. Furthermore, they are integrated with a monitor that allows for failure recovery and requesting human help. Crucial for our approach, the monitor also gathers data for every navigation attempt. In particular, it records whether the navigation action was successful and what time it took. This data can then be used to build, for each edge in the topological map, a temporal model that is able to predict, at a specific time, what is the probability of successful edge traversal and what is the expected time for that edge traversal. Here, we see an example of such a model, based on Fourier analysis. The depicted edge is for a door in an office space. The door is usually closed out of office hours and we assume the robot cannot go through it when it's closed. In the top right plot, we can see that the model reconstructs the working days of the week with a lower probability of successfully traversing the edge during the weekend. In the bottom right plot, we can see that it also reconstructs the office hours with the probability of success be being equal to 1 between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. So now we have these accurate models of robot execution based on real-life data and we want to take advantage of them. To do so, we will use probabilistic model checking techniques. More specifically, we will use Markov decision processes as our decision-making model due to its ability to tackle uncertainty. Furthermore, we will optimize meaningful metrics such as the probability of achieving a task or the expected time to do so. Finally, we will exploit the use of temporal logics to specify our behavior in a flexible manner. Putting these three things together, we are able to provide what we call formal probabilistic performance guarantees. To give an overview of the model, on the left-hand side you can see the typical planning problem I mentioned before, and on the right-hand side you can see an MDP encoding of it. This MDP is based on the topological map and is augmented with the information related to the specific task at hand. In this example, the task is simply finding a mug, so we add the state feature representing whether the mug has been found or not. The cost function represents the expected time for action execution. Crucial in this model is that all the probabilities and costs are obtained from the experience of the robot, rather than being arbitrarily set by a system designer. We now move on to the specification language. We propose the use of CoSafe linear temporal logic to encode our tasks. CoSafe LTL is an extension of propositional logic which allows us to reason about finite behaviors of the robot and can be used to specify properties such as reachability or safety. It is comprised of the standard Boolean connectives plus a set of temporal operators. These operators are the next operator, requiring a property to hold in the next state, the eventually operator, requiring a property to hold sometime in the future, and the until operator, requiring its first argument to hold in all states until its second argument becomes true. 
because FLTL allows for a wide range of task specifications. A simple example is asking the robot to execute a 3D sweep to build a metric map at a certain location. This can be encoded as eventually metric map at 8.3. We can also specify conjunctions of tasks. For example, execute a metric map at 8.3 3 and at waypoint 7 and make sure to navigate the edge between waypoints 3 and 4 can be specified as eventually metric map at waypoint 3 and eventually metric map at waypoint 7 and eventually at waypoint 3 and in the next state at waypoint 4. In this example, the task of moving between waypoints 3 and 4 might be an observational task triggered by the component responsible for building the spatial temporal edge models. A final example is asking the robot to go to the living room whilst avoiding the bedroom. This can be easily expressed in COSEFL TL as not bedroom until living room. So, now we have an MDP model of the robot and its environment, and we have a COSEFLTL specification that we want the robot to achieve. In this paper, we investigate how to handle partially satisfiable tasks, that is, tasks that cannot be satisfied with probability 1. To tackle these tasks, we propose posing the problem as an optimization of a set of objectives in a decreasing order of priority. First, we want to be robust. That is, we want to maximize the probability of satisfying the COSEFE LTL specification. Second, we want to do as much as possible. This means that even if part of the task becomes unsatisfiable, the robot should still execute the remainder of the task. Finally, we want to be efficient and minimize the expected cost to execute the achievable part of our task. We now present the overall diagram of our framework. Arrows in pink represent the contribution of our partial satisfiability approach. We start with the MDP model M and the co-safe specification Phi. Phi is translated into a deterministic finite automaton using known techniques, and then the product MDP of the original MDP with the DFA representing Phi is built also using known techniques. This product MDP augments the state space of the original MDP with the information required to keep track of the satisfaction of phi. Our first contribution is the definition of a progression function over the automaton representation of the COSEFE LTL formula. This progression function formalizes the notion of doing as much as possible. The progression function is then used to prune the product MDP in order to ensure convergence of the three objectives. Finally, we propose an extension of value iteration that optimizes the three objectives in a decreasing order of priority. By doing so, we can obtain an optimal policy for our problem. Our approach is implemented in the PRISM model checker and integrated in ROS for execution in real robots. The code is open source and available online. Concluding, this work provides contribution to the modeling of task planning problems for robot systems and also proposes a novel algorithmic solution for MDPs. Furthermore, its ROS integration allows for easy deployment of robots using our techniques. Our future work includes several avenues, including dealing with uncertainty over the model itself, extending the approach to multi-robot systems, and enriching the specification language by dealing, for example, with more general multi-objective specifications. This concludes my talk. Thank you for listening. Please read the paper for more details on our approach. I'm happy to discuss these or other related works, so please feel free to come and chat with me during the conference.